1161, 1368 and 1485 kilohertz AM and on FM stereo. This is local radio for Sussex from the BBC. The radio. Broadcasting on 104.6 FM. This is BBC Radio Surrey. News. Across the southeast, it's Mike Carson. Call 071 224 6868. BC Radio Oxford Travel News. Let me join AA Road Watch. Oh, please report. And I have no problems to report on the buses or the trains. You're listening to your local station where the time is 5.30. With local, national and international news, this is BBC Radio Berkshire. More than and the latest news headlines from Caroline Thompson. Good afternoon. It's me again. Stuart McIntosh on BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. Looking after you again from four until seven. And that's just about it for tonight. We'll both be back tomorrow looking after you through the afternoon, four till seven. Don't forget tomorrow morning, wake up with John Terrett on The Breakfast Show. Plenty of things to uh, amuse you, pass the time and inform you too. Travel news in The Breakfast Show here on BBC Radio Surrey. Steve Watts at lunchtime. Got Richard Linfield in the morning and Miranda Birch in the afternoon with Ian Collington in the middle. And I'll be back at four. It's a good day on BBC Radio Surrey. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good evening to you. This is Steve Richard. You're listening to GLR... 94.9 FM and 1458 AM, the 430 News. with the latest travel news on BBC Essex. Here's Keith Harbottle. BBC Radio Soul and Travel News. BBC Radio Kent. Traffic and Travel. BBC Local Radio Travel News. Six thirty, and you're tuned to BBC Radio Sussex.
BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. BBC Radio Surrey with Nick Simmons. Thank you, Rebecca. You're listening to the Radio Surrey Breakfast Show, presented this morning by Tim Humphrey. We'll be hearing that the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Taylor, has revealed he was willing to appear at the appeal of Judith Ward. We'll be taking a look at the Earth Summit in Rio. There seems to be a confrontation on its way. We'll be looking also at the prospects for wildlife. We'll be hearing about water profits, Thames Water announcing its profits today and also looking at Derby Day. It is tomorrow and we'll be hearing from the trainers and the jockeys the preparations they have to make for the Derby. And as well... The BBC in Surrey, 104.6 FM. BBC Radio for the South and East with Bill Dawn. BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. Traffic and travel news from BBC Radio Solent. Thank you very much and a very good morning. This is Julian Clegg with you between now and midday. And in this hour, our open line, 02735700057. And your reaction to Intercarb from Pakistan's reaction to that particular judgment at the cricket match yesterday. He's not very happy about it. What do you think? Give me a call. BBC News for the South and East, I'm Sonia McLaughlin. and Hertfordshire on 103.8 FM stereo and 630 kilohertz AM. This is BBC Radio Bedfordshire, talking to you. BBC Radio Bedfordshire. BBC Radio Bedfordshire travel news. You're listening to the BBC in Essex from the coast to the capital on 103.5 and 95.3 FM and on AM. This is BBC Essex. It's a little... Three minutes to twelve now and the final travel report of the morning from Michael Watkins. On 94.9 and 1458, GLR News from the BBC. Are you At 2 o'clock, BBC Radio Kent News with Karen Mills. BBC Radio Kent. Traffic and travel. BBC Radio Kent. On 95.2 FM, this is BBC Radio Oxford. BBC 
BBC Local Radio Travel News. At the AA Sarah Gibbon. Bill Raps on BBC Radio Oxford every weekday afternoon. This is Bill. On 96.1 FM and medium wave, making headlines, the news station, BBC Radio Solent. Chichester to Rye, from Gatwick to the coast, on AM and FM in stereo, this is local radio for Sussex from the BBC. Broadcasting on 104.6 FM, this is BBC Radio Surrey. News. BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. BBC Radio Bedfordshire. BBC Radio Bedfordshire. It's Jamie Crick. Tomorrow's weather today for Central Southern England and the Channel Islands. This is the late shift from BBC Radio Solent. Phil Hobart, BBC Radio Sorry, Travel News, 104.6 FM. And that's it from me and him and also the rest of the crew tonight. Huge sighs of relief all round. We'll all be back again tomorrow at five past four for the final programme of the week. Drive time here at BBC Radio Surrey with me, Claire Paul. Also make a date with John Terrett tomorrow morning, six through until nine with our breakfast crew. Travel news every 15 minutes there. And Steve Watts at lunchtime, 12 through until one. Have a good evening tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Chichester to Rye, from Gatwick to the coast, on AM and FM in stereo, this is local radio for Sussex from the BBC. Good morning, BBC Radio Sussex, the news at 11 with Sarah Shepherds. The Olympic sprinter Jason Livingston has denied he ever used steroids. The runner was sent home from Barcelona with two other competitors amid allegations of drug taking. He was due to run in the Olympic 100 meters. I'll be back. From Norfolk to Kent, Essex to Bedfordshire, across the south and east, Bill Dodd on BBC Radio. BBC Radio Kent, traffic and travel. BBC Radio Kent At 12 o'clock, BBC Radio Kent News with Sharon Rowe From the BBC Radio Kent Radio Kent From Hive to Hern Bay, Seven Oaks to Sandwich what goes on in the county goes on BBC Radio Kent. BBC Radio Kent. Radio Kent.
four o'clock. With the local, national and international news, this is BBC Radio Berkshire. Jonathan Richards. This is BBC Radio Berkshire and Mary Small. Radio Berkshire Sport. This is BBC Radio Berkshire with Tanya Shields. On 96.1 FM and medium wave, making headlines, the news station, BBC Radio Solent. you need, the information you want, the music you know, the sound of the south. This is BBC Radio Solent. On Across the South, BBC Radio Solent. Traffic and travel news from BBC Radio Solent. <laughs> BBC Radio Solent. This is BBC Local Radio in the South. It's nine o'clock. This is Sarah Ransom. Traffic and travel news from the BBC in the South. is the voice of the BBC in the South. If you live in Sussex, there's only one station that keeps you in touch with where you live. For the best news service in town, up to the minute travel and weather information, sporting action, for national and international news from the BBC. Tune in to your station, BBC Radio Sussex. This is local radio from the BBC. 95 to 95.3 and 104 to 104.5 FM. News, talk and music for South Beds and Hertfordshire on 103.8 FM in stereo and 630 kHz AM. This is BBC Radio Bedfordshire with hearts and bucks. Meds, Hearts and Bucks travel news from the BBC. You're listening to BBC Radio Oxford with Mike Carson. Tough travel after that. On 95.2 FM, this is BBC Radio Oxford. BBC Radio Oxford Travel News. And it's over to the AA, Alex Rochelle. Thank you, Alex. See you in a minute.
local, national and world news on 104.6 FM. This is BBC Radio Surrey. Nice to have you company this afternoon. You're listening to your favourite local radio station, BBC Radio Surrey, broadcasting across the county on 104.6 FM. John Hunt, your host, through until 3.30 this afternoon. BBC Radio K. What's on? The head from Chichester to Rye, from Gatwick to the coast, on AM and FM in stereo, this is local radio for Sussex from the BBC. BBC Radio Sussex News at six. Thank you. Well, about this time normally, and indeed today, let's continue. Creature of habit, me. Uh, three songs together from a particular year, and it's your task, and I know you're up to it, to work out the year from whence they come. 0634 811 if you... Fancy risking it? 0634811111, that's the phone number. What we need to know from you is the year that the following three songs come from. Because I've fallen in love with the travel jingle. I tell you, this is instant news for you this afternoon. British. Every weekday morning, BBC Radio Berkshire brings you all the latest local and national news. We have business, farming and financial information and specially compiled local weather and sport. There are also regular traffic and travel updates to help you make it through the rush hour. We have all you need on Berkshire Today, 6.30 to 9 on BBC Radio Berkshire. You can make a difference this Christmas. Ring the two-wheel appeal now on Guildford 306666. Now let me just... FM. This is BBC Radio Oxford with Bill Raps. Just after and following its takeover. At six minutes past five, this is Berkshire tonight with Phil Cook. The Bay Berkshire tonight, time now to look at the sports news with Pauline Newman.
local, national and world news on 104.6 FM. This is BBC Radio Surrey. It's two o'clock, I'm Simon Mann. Mendoza on BBC Radio Surrey. Phone now on 0273 57 0057. Happy Christmas from BBC Radio Surrey. very much indeed and a very good morning this is julian clegg with you between now and midday and this hour the open line your calls please on 02735700057 to talk about the news of the morning we got it wrong on pit says Hasseltine, a headline on the front of this morning's telegraph how do you react to the high court ruling on the pit closures give me a call you in touch with news, conversation and information, this is BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. GLR 2020 travel from Scotland Yard and looking on our cameras in the west end, the whole of the Euston and Marylebone Road is looking very ugly at the moment. Each GLR travel update at 4.40. First for news, GLR 94.9 FM from the BBC. GLR 2020 Travel to the Norwichway Station. I'm Ian McHugh at the BBC Travel Centre. Mm -hmm. With the evening sports news, Peter Morris. The 2020 headline travel from Scotland Yard because of uh, major security alerts over a wide area. Blackfriars Bridge is closed north and southbound and many roads around by Blackfriars Underground Station. Also part of Ludgate Circus is shut. Heading west out of London, there's no access on the A4 into or out of London between Earl's Court right the way through down to North End Road and Targarth Road and then down to the Hogarth Roundabout. Hammersmith Broadway, that is completely sealed off to all traffic coming in from every entrance into the one-way system. Massive queues back back along Shepherd's Bush Road onto Shepherd's Bush Green. The M41 link coming south from the A40 and the Westway, that has been sealed off to keep traffic away from the Shepherd's Bush and Hammersmith area. And the A40 Western Avenue is absolutely solid now from the Paddington Slip right the way through to Savoy Circus and the Hangar Lane gyratory system. On the underground, the Waterloo City Line is shut because of signalling problems at the bank. Full update on GLR at 5.20. Coming up next, it's uh, Lucy Longhurst and GLR Classics, and then at that woman, Shinna, will be here with the Global Beatbox. I'm Richard Cook. See you next week at 8 o'clock for more GLR Jazz. Till then, take care. Bye-bye, and uh, it's 10 o'clock. See you soon. Hear from you, and uh, we send the car out to any kind of uh, event or activity that you're organising. Here is the address. Nick Simmons. 
BBC Radio Surrey, Broadcasting House, Guildford, GU2 5AP. Drop us a line. Don't forget next week it's Valentine's Day and if we can pass on a Valentine's message for you we'd be happy to do that as well. BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. Surrey, you'll hear it on 104.6 FM, BBC Radio Surrey. BBC Radio Surrey, 104.6 FM. Radio Sussex. John Hunt on BBC Radio Sussex. And the Middle Eight competition, where you can test your musical knowledge. The radio car is out and about. We look back at the week on Radio Surrey and meet Nick's special guest, international singer and performer, Lorna Dallas, live in the studio. That's the Nick Simmons Show, this Sunday morning, 9 till midday. Here on BBC Radio Surrey. And please stay with us for the BBC Radio Sussex News Hour tonight with Mike Bradshaw and Caroline Bell. In News Hour tonight, the religious community responds to the resignation of the Right Reverend Peter Ball, the former Bishop of Lewis, now Bishop of Gloucester, who's given up his post following an allegation of gross indecency.